Shalom, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast here. We have made it safely to the United States late, late last night. And uh, we just wanted to give you a quick update of some things that we are catching this morning. Uh, we have some information that is shows a military convoy, U.S. military convoy in Poland, right there on the Ukrainian border. Very concerning uh, information that we're seeing there. Uh, especially in light of the fact that the Senate has passed these new sanctions against Russia, which the Russian government is co uh, considering this as an act of uh, economic war. I do want to make that clear. They call it an economic war against the Russian Federation, what the Senate has actually voted to do. And it's really kind of stonewalling uh, the 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 good relations that President Putin and President Trump are trying to have, trying to bring about a better working relationship there with Russia and the United States, possibly lift sanctions on Russia, only to have the Senate turn around and slap these new sanctions on Russia. Uh, that was also in a bill that was sanctions against uh, North Korea as well as Iran. Uh, so it has caused a great tensions. It is clearly a deep state move. Uh, in military industrial complex and not in the interest of the American people at all to, to continue to do this type of, of behavior. Uh, it seems that we are definitely plunging the United States towards war with another superpower. And even though the United States may have the, the upper hand with NATO, uh, this latest actions by the U.S. Senate is also uh, against many of our European allies and that's not going over very well with them. Again, it's all about the, the gas and the oil when it comes down to it. As we reported here on Israeli News Live many times before, back when the uh, Ukraine uh, coup was going on top, toppling Yanukovych, we knew then that it was all because Yanukovych was willing to sign the deal for the natural gas for with Russia, even though he wanted to be in part of the European Union, and he didn't want to sign it with the U.S., uh, and their allies there because he knew it would cost the people a lot more. Well, after the coup, after the replacement of uh, Yanukovych with Petro Poroshenko, uh, they did give a cheap coal price from the United States uh, for their for their fueling needs, but now that has tripled in price and nearly double that of what Sweden is paying for the coal uh, now. So it, uh, it does all come down to a uh, taking over the market share of the European Union and making sure Russia doesn't come a superpower with a new economic powerhouse like that of China when the United States businessmen took all of their trade deals over to China and made China a great nation while they depleted uh, the United States of its own resources and its own tools of being able to be a strong nation with great economics. This is something that President Trump has tried to turn around but it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Again, just a quick take of our broadcast. Don't forget, we do need your support. This trip will be a very, very uh, costly endeavor. And uh, But we, we did this with you in mind, wanting to help and meet some of you as well and get more information out to you. Uh, you can visit our website, IsraeliNewsLive.org. You can donate there. And, of course, right on our, our uh, channel here, YouTube channel, Israeli News Live. Uh, YouTube and right above the subscribe button there's a link there. We will be broadcasting on YouTube in the very near future once we get things set up in the next couple of weeks we're going to start broadcasting live and in fact Duluth Georgia may be live on YouTube if we can get all our ducks in a row before the conference there we may actually run it live so you guys can see it here. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.